Hi there, welcome back to Coldstream Rod Shop. I'm Derek Fraser. I'm going to show you what we've been doing on the 32 Ford pickup project. The cab has been lifted off of the body. Um, I had to push the bed back, take the fenders off, and took quite a bit of work to get the cab off. But now the cab is off. Um, over here you can see I've put it on a small dolly. I uh, went into Princess Auto and picked up some little cheapy wheels and some 2x4s and made a cart that I'll be able to push it out into the front yard and do sandblasting on it. So I've got the cab, I've got the dash, and then over here as you can see I've got the firewall and the doors. The doors still have to be stripped. I've got to take the hardware off and that because I don't want to sandblast that. Once it's all sandblasted, I'll put a coat of epoxy primer on it and then it'll be ready to put the mud and everything else onto it and doing the final bodywork. Now, over here, since I took the cab off, that exposes the frame so that I can start working on the exhaust and running some brake lines. As you can see, I've started working on the exhaust. I've got a little bit welded, finished welded here. I've got the muffler dummied in place kind of where I want it. Uh, then I cut a bunch of pieces and I've got them all tacked in place. So the exhaust is going to come up through here. And then over here you can see um, I've got plenty of room between the exhaust and the battery box. I had to use a piece of wood here to basically hold it up in place. But as you can see, there's plenty of room for the axle to go up and down. Plenty of room between the coil spring and the, the bar on the four link. And then over here, you can look down here. I've got the exhaust coming out. I think I might extend it out to about this point. I'd like to get it to the tip of the exhaust out a little bit further. But right now, it's, it's right where I want it. It's straight coming back. All of the welds and all the joints I've got to uh, finish up. But, I mean, if you, if you can look down here, You can see the exhaust is relatively straight and parallel to the bottom of the frame. It tucks up underneath. Just going to do the same thing for the other side now. Now when I had the box off, I had opportunity to stick the gas tank back in. And as you can see over here, I've got the cap. I think what we're going to do is get one of those caps with the locking cap so that you can put it in place. It'll be a little easier to take in and out. But that's what we've been up to the past few days. Um, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. Please subscribe. Let us know if you want to see something else or if you don't want to talk about anything else. If not, I'll see you in a few more days. Uh, we'll show you another video of what we're doing. Anyway, thanks again. Everybody take care.